Superintendent's office. Right over here. Over here. Where is she? She's being interviewed. I think the kids miss them the most. <laughs> Okay, so we're today Aiden got a letter from his elf and Sophie's elf saying that what did it say? It said well Santa Santa Well I lost my bike. His bike Santa, was stolen. Yes. And Santa got me a new one. Well you don't know it said he has something here that you've been missing, right? It's probably the same bike. Okay, well, you can't turn around until I tell you. Do you understand? Aiden, come stand right here. Come stand next to your sister. You cannot turn around until I tell you, even if the garage door opens, okay? okay. Don't turn around yet. All right. Don't turn around yet. All right, you can turn around.
No biking, but this is better, yeah? I'm <laughs> home. <laughs> Aiden, Sophie, you're surprised? No! No! How many of you guys know that Kai's daddy has been deployed for the last nine months? Yeah, I know. And how do you guys know this? He told us! And Miss Sprinkles. Miss Sprinkles will be too? Yeah, Kai's Both been pretty strong through it all. So I thought today I'd read a book and you guys got some flags that goes with the book. And I'd read a book to you guys about um, a soldier and being away from his family. Does that sound like a fun book to read? Yes, yeah. yeah. All right. So it's called Coming Home. On the inside it says, Every day soldiers leave their family to protect others. We love them. We miss them when they are gone. And we want them all to come home. They are our heroes. What? I was gonna start the book, but I have a better idea. What? I was thinking Daddy could read the book. Guys, this is Kai's daddy. He came home from Afghanistan last week, and we've been keeping it a secret from Kai. So we wanted to surprise him today. Sorry. Hey, Kai, do you like that surprise? Everybody knew it was you last week if you could bring daddy to show and tell. Here you go. Here's your moment. <laughs> All right, guys. It was a trick. We're not really reading so, the book. <laughs> 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 Why don't you go ahead and show the kids? Tell, maybe, maybe Dad can tell a little yeah. bit about you get the what he's been doing. You get the tear. Where are you supposed to wear your flag? Oh, wear your flag. Wear your flag. six months been in the Air Force and uh, this is the first time I'm coming home and my parents and nobody thinks I'm coming home so we're about to go inside my house see my mom's reaction hopefully she still loves me so let's do it just keep it playing We can't go. <laughs> I opened the door. I saw somebody oh walking god. on the lawn. Oh my god, you did it! Marcus! I, I knew you were gonna do it someday, but I think I did that too. Oh my god! Hi Michael, how you doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> We're back on this Thursday. It's 5.30, 43 degrees. Two kids in Fitzgerald are still smiling this morning, probably after getting an unexpected visit from someone very special they've not seen in about a year, their mom. For the past 15 months, specialist Lisa Fulford has been stationed in Iraq with the U.S. Army. 
Well, Wednesday morning, she surprised her children with a visit to their classroom in Ben Hill County. Nikki Gaskins is live in our studio with their heartwarming reunion. Well, Carla Fulford's children had no idea she was coming home for the holidays, so as you can probably imagine, the look on their faces when seeing their mother for the first time in quite a while was priceless. For nine-year-old Kayla Mansfield, Christmas came a lot earlier this year. Surprise! This year, her present is having her mom home for the holidays. It's been a year since Kayla seen her in person. Thank you, too. Her mom, Liesl Fulford, is a specialist in the U.S. Army, working as a mechanic in Iraq. I work on uh, small drag, small tanks, but I mostly cross trained into working on Humvees and five tons and wreckers. She admits it's not easy leaving her two small children to live with their grandmother while she's busy serving the country. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's something you, you don't ever get used to. Especially when they're growing up quickly, and she's not there to watch. You're almost as tall as I am. And the surprises didn't stop in Kayla's classroom. After visiting her daughter at Ben Hill Elementary, it was time to see her son over at the primary school. Hey, little man. Like his sister, this is Seth Mansfield's first time Dad. seeing his mother face to face in about a year. You're, sh you're shaking. I know. I'm excited to see you. I look at my daughter with all the pride and admiration for what she has done with her life. She's doing this for their future, but she also does it for the rest of us here in the U.S. Sheila Carswell kept their mother's return home secret for three months, something she struggled to do. Everybody that knows me, well, I cannot keep a secret for nothing. But it was a secret worth waiting to reveal. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> and Lisa plans to take advantage of every minute she has with her kids before returning overseas. We're just going to stay at home. Stay at home and spend time together. <laughs> now Fulford has about a month to spend with her children. On January 4th, she'll head back overseas, this time to Germany. Carla? Wonderful story this morning. And as Fulford did in Iraq, she will continue to stay in contact with her children through email, by phone, and through a webcam.